Hello everybody and welcome back. We are still with chapter 1 in physics, talking about wave motion. Today we will talk about frequency and wavelengths. So first we will talk about the wavelength before the frequency. In um, transverse motion, we can draw the diagram of this motion like that. So, we will have here point A, point B, point C, and so on. Here we can define the wavelength as the distance between the point A and the point C. So, the upper part here in the diagram is called a crest, and the lower part is called a trough. So, we can get that the wavelength in the transverse motion is the distance between two successive crests and troughs. So, here we have a crest and a trough. This is a complete wavelength. We um, refer to the wavelength as lambda. This Greek letter is written like that. It's called lambda. And the unit of the wavelength is meter. So, we can say that the wavelength of this wave motion is 2 meters. This means that the distance between the point A and the point C is 2 meters. Here's also something that we must know. This thing is... The wavelength may be also defined as the distance or the displacement covered by the wave in one periodic time. The periodic time is the time um, needed by the wave motion to make one complete oscillation. So, if we say that the periodic time of this wave is 2 seconds, this means that this wave covers a distance of 2 meters, which is the wavelength, in 2 seconds. So, uh, this is what the wavelength means. So we can deduce from all of this that the wavelength is the distance between two successive points in um, the wave motion. This is in the transverse wave. It's also the same thing in the longitudinal waves like if we have a spring and it has a rarefaction then a compression then a rarefaction then a compression here and so on so this is a rarefaction then a compression a rarefaction then a compression So, the wavelength here is the distance between two successive compressions and rarefactions. So, this is a wavelength and this is a wavelength. This is the part of the wavelength. Then we have the frequency. The frequency is the reciprocal or the multiplicative inverse of the periodic time. We have just mentioned that the periodic time is the time needed by the wave in order to make one complete oscillation. So the frequency is the number of complete oscillations that the wave makes in one minute. So, the frequency um, 
we refer to as Hertz, its unit is Hertz. H that for short. For example, if a periodic time of the wave is two seconds, so the frequency will be one over two. So it's half hertz. Half hertz. Not half a second or other uh, unit. It's half hertz. That's how we get the frequency. So this is it for today. We talked about frequency and the wavelength. We talked also about the periodic time. The next time we will know the relation between the frequency, the wavelength, and the velocity of the wave motion and until then I thank you for watching and see you